Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. Today we are going to learn about structure of pollen grain. So in our previous video we have learnt about the structure of bisexual flower. Continuation to it we are going to discuss about the structure of anther as well as the structure of pollen grains. Let us see first the structure of an anther. Now as you all learnt earlier anther is nothing but it is the male reproductive part which is at present at the tip of the stamens. So, if you examine they will have long filament and the bilobed structure is the structure of the stamens. So, this is the filament and this is the anther and this entire thing we call it as stamen which is also forms the androsium of a flower. So now what is the major function of this male reproductive part the stamen? If you examine we have shown a bilobed structure anther. Now this anther is the one which contains the male gametes known as pollen grains. So, the male gametes which are essential for the reproduction part in a flower they are located in the anther. Now, let us examine the structure of the anther. So, since we say it is a bilobed structure now anther is divided into two lobes I examine this as one lobe and assume this as the another lobe now each lobe has two sacs so each lobe has two sacs now here if I examine this is one lobe of the anther this is another lobe of the anther and each lobe is having two sacs so, there are how many sacs in each lobe? Two pollen sacs. We call them as pollen sacs. So, each lobe has two pollen sacs. Overall, we have four pollen sacs in each anther. Right, children? So, now these pollen sacs are the one which are going to produce the male gametes of a flower known as these male gametes are known as pollen grains. So, pollen grains are also known as the male gametes of a so if you examine the stamen structure the filament has a bilobed anther. This is the structure of an anther. And this is the bilobed structure of an anther. And each lobe will be consisting of two pollen sacs. Overall, we have four pollen sacs. And these pollen sacs are the ones which are responsible for the production of the male gametes known as pollen grains. Now, these pollen grains are the one which are essential in the pollination process. Now, let us examine the structure of the pollen grain. If you see the structure of the pollen grain, they will be differing in different sizes and shapes, they will not be similar. So, assume this as a pollen grain. Each pollen grain will have an outer covering membrane which we call it as exine. The outer covering membrane of a pollen grain now structure of pollen grain we are studying here if you examine each pollen grain will have an outer membrane covering known as exine and inner or covering known as intine. 
right exanonentine and inside this male gamete we have two nucleus so one is known as tube nucleus and the another nucleus is known as germinative generative sorry generative nucleus so this is the structure of pollen pollen grain children if you examine the pollen grain structure it has an outer covering membrane known as exine which protects the pollen grain from any kind of external uh, uh, changes or some kind of injuries then next we have internal covering membrane membrane known as intine and inside the cell the pollen grain male gamete we examine two nucleus one is known as tube nucleus the other is known as generative nucleus now what is the function of the tube nucleus the tube nucleus is the one which is going to form a tube like structure rupturing the intine and exine they form a tube like structure whenever they do the pollination process so this is a tube like structure we call it as pollen tube so this pollen tube is formed by the tube nucleus it is the one which is going to rupture the intine and exine of the pollen grain and forms a tube like structure through which the pollen grain can reach the gynoecium ovary part during fertilization process after pollination so and the generative nucleus which is there it is going to produce the two sperm nuclei or the male nuclei which are going to fertilize the ovary of the flower so this generative nucleus will produce two male nuclei so these two male nuclei are the one which are going to fertilize the egg or ovum in a pistil or the gynoecium of a flower so coming to the structure of pollen grain the pollen grain will have any shape it can have and the sizes are also different for different kind of flowers and they have generally two kinds of covering membranes one is exine the outer membrane then intine the inner membrane and inside the cytoplasm of this pollen grain if you examine we have two nucleus one nucleus is known as tube nucleus which is going to form the pollen tube during fertilization process then next we have generative nucleus this generative nucleus is the one which is going to form the actual two main nuclei we also call them as sperm nuclei which is going to fuse with the egg or ovum in the gynoecium of a flower during fertilization process so this is the structure of anther as well as structure of pollen grain which helps in the pollination as well as fertilization process thank you